Hey guys, so today I want to talk to you guys about the variable speed uh, air conditioning units. You know, so if you have one of these non variable speed single stage units and you're thinking about converting into a variable speed, um, you know, I, I've been there and I'm going to share my experience with you guys, you know, what I feel after I replace my unit. So I'm going to be doing like a hand to hand comparison between both units and uh, show you the actual values, you know, when it comes to how much power you're consuming in an older unit versus a new unit. Now, <clears throat> the comparison I'm gonna show you is, uh, you know, some of the video clips that I have made prior to replacing this unit with the older one. So, you know, we'll take a look at how much amps I was pulling with the older one and how much amps am I really pulling with this one. And not only the outside condenser unit, but also the air handler uh, upstairs. So, uh, you know, stay tuned, watch this video, and I'm gonna give you, um, you know, my opinion of whether it was worth it for me or not. Now, from a price perspective, of course, these units are a lot expensive than a single stage unit, you know, so uh, is it really worth what you spend? You know, it all depends, you know, uh, if you're willing to spend that money to try it out or not, you know. I wanted to give it a shot just to, you know, see, uh, you know, if I really had those savings. And I think over the long run, you know, the savings, uh, you're not gonna see right away, but, you know, little by little, you know, it's gonna add up and you're gonna see the savings in the long run, you know. So if you end up owning this unit for 10, 15, 20 years, of course, you know, it's gonna pay off, you know, over that time since you're saving all that money in a smaller amount during your monthly bills and eventually it's gonna, you know, end up uh, saving you a lot of money. So, uh, you know, as you can see, these units are very quiet. Right now it's running at a variable speed and uh, I'm standing right in front of this, you know, you can probably tell, you know, you're barely hearing the fan going and the compressor, uh, but it's cooling uh, and, uh, you know, it's doing this job, you know, it's cooling the house at a steady pace. Now, one thing you do have to be careful when you're getting these units installed, these are not a simple installation unit. <clears throat> so a lot of people say that it's very complex to install and things like that. Guys, quite frankly, it's not, you know, it's very simple installation. The only complex part is the communication part uh, between the unit and the thermostat that is installed inside the house. That's the only complicated wiring. And it's not that complicated, trust me. <laughs> it's just if you're, as long as you follow the diagrams, you know, when it comes to the installation, uh, you will be fine, you know. And other than that, every single thing is pre-done for you. All the board programming, everything is already done. All you have to do is connect the power to the outside unit, connect the power to the inside unit. And once you do the wiring for the thermostat, that's all it takes. So. A lot of contractors came when I was getting pricing on this unit and they gave me a bunch of BS stories saying that, oh, it's very complex, it's a different installation. And guess what? It's not, you know, so uh, check out the link below. I'm going to be posting some videos, you know, um, on how I did the installation. And, uh, you know, I did it uh, with the help of <clears throat> this one uh, installer who is certified and uh, hold the license. So you, that's one thing you want to make sure, you know. Uh, but you also need to know, uh, watch out for a few things when you're installing not only a variable speed unit, but any air conditioning unit. You know, two things to know for sure is you're pulling a good vacuum, at least 500 microns using a vacuometer. That's one critical part that a lot of people don't use, a lot of contractors don't use. So whoever is doing the installation, you want to make sure they're pulling a deep vacuum, at least 500 microns. The second thing is when you're brazing these joints right here, you want to make sure you're running um, nitrogen in the lines before brazing because if you don't run nitrogen all that black gunk that you see that built up right here you know it builds up inside the lines and if when that happens and when your um, gases are flowing you know the uh, 410a whatever you're using in this flowing inside is gonna grab a hold of get a hold of those black gunk and then get into your TXV which is the thermostatic expansion valve and get it blocked you know it also comes into your uh, compressor and can cause damage and stuff like that so those are the two main things when it comes to the installation of an air conditioning system that you definitely want to make sure that you do use um, is the nitrogen while brazing and also the pressure testing and also the pulling a deep vacuum so these are the two critical parts in any ac installation um, other than that you know i think uh, for the most part is a simple electronic connection and uh, the duct work and all that stuff that's not that bad uh, especially if you're replacing an existing unit so in the next video, I'm going to be showing you guys the actual comparison of uh, 
the amps that I'm pulling with this unit and also the uh, older unit. So side by side. So watch out for part two and uh, look at the link in the description below.